today on Running to Him. Telling stories about God's work will help bring people into a relationship with God. Today's reading is Exodus chapter 18, verses 1 through 16, and we'll be concentrating on verses 8 through 11. Exodus 18, 8 through 11 says, Moses told his father-in-law all that the Lord had done to Pharaoh and to the Egyptians for Israel's sake, and all the hardship that had befallen them on the journey, and how the Lord had delivered them. Jethro rejoiced over all the goodness which the Lord had done to Israel in delivering them from the hand of the Egyptians. So Jethro said, Blessed be the Lord who delivered you from the hand of the Egyptians and from the hand of Pharaoh, and who delivered the people from under the hand of the Egyptians. Now I know that the Lord is greater than all the gods. Indeed, it was proven when they dealt proudly against the people. In Jesus' last words to the disciples, he told them to make disciples and then baptize them. The question might be, how do we make disciples? Well, that answer is easy. We make disciples through the way we live and speak to others about Christ. Now, why is it that I preface the answer by writing, open quote, the first step in the process is living our relationship with God through Christ, close quote. We cannot become effective Christians if we don't walk the way we should. During the COVID lockdowns, some politicians stated that we must wear masks. But some of the most strident leaders of this demand are seen at times not wearing masks. They always have some kind of excuse, but in reality, they're just breaking the rules because they want to. Some news people have commented that the politicians think, open quote, the mandate is for thee and not for me, close quote. Well, this type of thinking causes people to see those politicians as hypocrites and liars. When we as Christians do things that we shouldn't, we damage our witness and our ability to bring people into a relationship with Christ effectively. Those whose lives demonstrate a solid Christian walk will hear it said, open quote, you are different than other people who claim that they're Christians. Why? Close quote. Our private walk should drive our public walk. For example, recently I was speaking to a person about living a transformational life. I recommended that he take Peter's advice in 2 Peter 1 verses 2 through 11 and begin the process of changing the way Peter outlines it. Then, while we are changing our lives, people will recognize the change and be more willing to speak with us about our relationship with Christ. But what do we do when someone comes to us asking about our relationship with Christ or just Christianity in general? First, we should tell them stories. For example, telling them about Nicodemus and Christ in John chapter 3 is an excellent story if people question how somebody begins a relationship with Christ. Next, telling this story about how God brought the Israelites out of Egypt is suitable for people who are really interested in history. Finally, revealing the story of Elijah and the widow is perfect for those who are in need. And we shouldn't shy away from telling people how God has affected our lives. Our story, if we are living an effective walk with Christ, can become very compelling. Showing the daily impact God has on our lives will help people relate and may assist in convincing them to turn to God through Christ. Thank you for listening. We pray that today's devotion was meaningful to you. We would love to hear from you. You can use either Facebook or YouTube to like, subscribe, share, and tell others about us. If you would like to contact us, you can reach me at PhineasJacobus at runningtohim.net.